Hello iTechnology reviewers and smart watch lovers, we got the new Galaxy Watch 5, the Pro version, the 35mm, the LTA version, and you know the new generation of these smart watches are capable of measuring the blood pressure, it's a blood pressure monitor, and also it has the ACG function, it has a lot of medical research, it's the newest watch, the newest technology, I don't know exactly what smartwatch will beat this uh, this watch these functions are available not only for the pro version the normal versions will have also it doesn't need to be the lta or the pro version so guys i want to measure how accurate is the blood pressure monitoring because there are a lot of devices on the market medical devices blood blood pressure monitoring devices that will measure your blood very accurately this is for the arm so for doing this calibration and test you need a blood pressure monitoring device just like this one for the arm and is this device that you will put it to your arm you cannot use it that you know there are small devices for the your wrist here you cannot use those and it's best not to use those because that are not accurately very accurate this one these devices are the most accurate devices on the medical market just for the arm so now to do this calibration make sure the swatch is snug on your wrist so it got to be quite comfortable but a little bit little bit tight the smartwatch just the, to take the pressure fit the blood pressure monitor cut off on the arm opposite your watch so guys if you see you got to put to the other hand because if you are putting to the same hand uh, it will not measure quite good so let me put on my other arm if you see here you got to put the medical device to the other arm if you are putting to the arm who has the watch it will not be accurate so put the medical device i put it to the my right arm and right here leave two or three centimeters right to the elbow and put it tight put the medical device tight if you are seeing and you got to leave your arm loose do not hold anything into your arm and do not talk or move while this measure while you are making this calibration you got to be calm before this not to make uh, sport activities or drink coffee because it will not be accurate so click next uh, start your blood pressure monitor now So the measuring is finished, you got to put it uh, just like this, a little bit uh, a little bit high from the wrist, yeah, when I put it to the wrist exactly here, uh, it didn't measure correctly so I repeated the test. Now we have to enter the values you see here, uh, I'm a little bit agitated, that's true, 138 systolic and diastolic. 101 and uh, 70 for the pulse so i believe these values are correct let's confirm them one measure completed so we got to make two more measuring for an accurate calibration so 
So when you insert the third time, it will tell you calibration finished. The watch will measure with your medical device, both of them in the same time. You will insert every time, the, you have four time like I told you, you will insert every time the values and it's made. So now let's see if the watch solo So now, memorize these numbers and let's see if the watch will make standalone the blood pressure now. So look guys, it's accurate 100, 137 by 101. So this is how you will calibrate good and accurate your smartwatch. I believe this is uh, quite good useful and if you make the calibration good and if you are uh, standing still this is another trick and if you are calm uh, you didn't make exercises before and drink coffee the uh, measurement will be more accurate than this so i think this is awesome to have at your wrist every time the blood pressure this is how to do it guys i hope you like this review and tutorial subscribe because we'll have a lot of videos for this smartwatch and a lot of technology uh, support us guys and if you think this video was helpful please uh, use the button thanks on this video for supporting our channel have a great day guys see you bye thank you